and good morning. Today is the start of one of many big jobs. Uh, show you what we're doing today, and then I'll gradually show you. So today, we're starting off by doing this garage conversion. So, Dad is gonna break up this concrete first things first to see if we need a lintel going in, which we've got just in case. And obviously we're also gonna tooth out these halves, knock off some of this rendering and get that put in. Another job that we're gonna be starting, at least, is all there is gonna be a doorway here and uh, two big steels going here for a opening. If you look here, there's the steels that were dropped off today by JM, thank you very much. And they're going in there and we've got two concrete lintels here, one there, one the other side, for the doorway here. Here, isn't it? Yeah. There, and then steels job there. And I think we've also got a patch up, uh, we're turning that into a window. So, yeah, so we've got quite a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you want to give a quick rundown what you're doing here? You know better than me. Um, because we don't know what's under this concrete, we're going to cut out this corner, see what's underneath it, see if we've got any brickwork underneath it. If not, we're going to put an angle line across to span across. Then we don't have to start cutting the concrete, digging down and putting a foundation. Which the angle line is there, just in case. Uh, that angle line is too small. Too s that's too small? Yeah, it doesn't reach onto the brickwork. So if that, if, if that pillar is, goes straight down, I'm going to have to swap that for a 24. So, um, it's first speed bump. Potentially. So first speed bump is for getting the brown dye. Oh yeah, yeah, it's brown, brown water dye. So anyway, yeah, um, once we've got a bit of a head start, Dad is going to go off and get the bricks and blocks needed, because, as you can see by all this stuff here, the van was a bit full. There's, we had seven acros in here. We're near, we're near Bolton. So just outside Wigan, so I'm going to head down to Brick Store in Wigan to get the bricks and um, get the blocks from um, the uh, West Orton branch of fields. There you have it. We've got our sand and cement out ready, mixers out ready, so all that is now is get those bricks and blocks and make a mess. So enough babbling, we'll get you set up. Oh, 
Oh, we had a casualty of the day. Eight mil bits is uh, somewhere in there, so. But, as you can see, progress is made. All the uh, toothing is done. Dad's just doing the last little bit there. And is under the concrete okay? Uh, there's 100 mil of concrete, but there's nothing underneath it. So we're still gonna play it safe and put an angle in. Okay. Which you say, say digging down, putting a new foot in, we're gonna put a, a 24 mil angle in, which goes from pillar to pillar. Some people dig down and put a concrete link in, but it's, it's a galvanized link, so it's fine. Yeah. So, we're going to get a bit of this uh, crap cleaned up and we'll uh, get all that sorted. Uh, I've been uh, taking down this plasterboard and no adhesive, so it just snaps off like a little, uh, like a dream. So I've just took that off for now because the Robbies have put all the glass there, but obviously all that will be coming off eventually. And down here too, I've just not done this bit yet because this is a, a live wire, so we're going to get that sorted first. And Robbie's just going to get a mark down for us now, so we know where we're going up to for our window. So, there you have it. A little update done. See you then. Right, I'm fresh back from the brick store run and forward run. There's the uh, fiber lights. Um, also picked up a sample of an, another job we've got coming up. Uh, bricking up a window, got to match the bricks, they look a good match. Anyway, we've um, picked up a longer lintel. 2.4 and it's only got a short small up stand which is better for us for slotting into the brickwork uh, like I say I've got the blocks the bricks let me just show you the bricks the bricks there's the house bricks oh they're all rendered anyway house bricks are what's called Bardsley buff which haven't been available for a long time and then when they've extended, they've used a Carlton Brown. So, which you can get hold of. So I got a Carlton Brown sample. And as you can see, it's very, very light. So, customer decided to go for these darker brick, which have a slightly less harsh face on them, but they're a lot darker. And um, even going through them, look at the difference in color. Same pack this. You've got like dark chocolate, milk chocolate. So luckily we've got quite a lot of the uh, these ones, so we're going to put predominantly them in and mix a few dark ones in. Um, and because because it's pretty much rained for two hours this morning, the bricks are absolutely soaked, as you can see. That's why we're stacking them honeycombed. So um, the plan now is get a mix in after dinner, get the block work up, and maybe maybe just get the bottom course of brick up to DPC and get the lintel set in and everything, and then. Um, Rob and Rob um, can get this door off. Yes, please. What do you like? uh, coffee, milk, no sugar, please. Uh, I'm okay for now, thank you. Ooh, ooh, yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, strong, please. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, so that's it. <clears throat> Gonna save you a bit. We also, I uh, forgot to bring the dye from the garage. And there's, we've got that much dye I don't want to buy anymore. So we'll hit the brickwork in the morning. Get the mortar right. And let the bricks dry out. So lunchtime. Right. Probably after two now. Day one's always slow going. Alex is just getting some of the bricks through to the back door. While I'm cutting these steels down. We've got them done at 3.6. But um, because the way the pad stones are working, we're coming this side of the steel with our pad stone. And we're coming this side of that door with the pad stone, and then whatever opening is left. So I've had to not cut the steel down 170, so it fits in there. Fits in there. One's cut down. We've had to cut both ends to keep the bolt whole. If we'd cut one side off, we'd have lost one of the bolt holes at one end, which would have been no good. So we have, um, Alex got to mix in to get the block working at the back here. And I'm going to get the lintel in at the front and get the first course across there up to the PC. And then just rake the joints back and then tomorrow when we build it we'll have the we'll have the brown dye in it so so i'll ca crack on get these other two um cuts done this thing is brilliant this evolution saw we've got the uh, metal blade on it and it's got these wheels so you can actually just hold lose it on a block and let the uh, let the weight of the saw sit down instead of holding it for a long spells of spells of time we're going to do a proper review on this and then um, give everyone the um 
the codes. There's a there's a, a discount code if you want to get one of these. Pick one of these up, they're brilliant. So uh, yeah, let's get this other cut, the other two cuts done and get this uh, get this wall in. Magic. Yeah. What's your head? Let me tell you what's in the exam or something.
Thank you. Yeah. Is this all this okay to come out? Yeah. Not supporting anything, is it? Hey. Not supporting no. anything, is it? Just, just a sort of look. Yeah, Put it that way, mate, into the doorway. It pops off the end.